What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Paulo Costa and Sean Strickland beef escalates. It's been four months since Sean Strickland called out Paulo Costa and with no fight made between the two yet, things are starting to escalate. Following Sean Strickland's win against Jack Hermanson in February, he's now ranked fourth in the division right alongside both Paulo Costa and Derek Brunson. Costa, whose most recent bout ended in a unanimous decision loss, took to Twitter to call out Strickland, immediately calling him a rat and saying he's ready to fight. However, Strickland replied making fun of the fact that Costa's future in the UFC has been questionable and so is his ability to make the middleweight cut at this point. He claims to have already asked the UFC for a Costa fight but says they were unsure Costa would be around long enough to make that happen. Of course, Costa didn't take well to this, quickly responding with vulgarity and calling Strickland a fake macho, among a number of other things. Needless to say, Costa isn't too happy. Strickland continued to explain to Costa that the UFC has blatantly said no to the fight between the two, even after multiple requests. No worries though, Strickland says he'll be happy to give Costa the beating he's waited for next time he catches him in Vegas. Get your popcorn ready because it doesn't look like the end of this show is near. Is this a fight you want to see? If not, who do you want to see Costa and Strickland fight next? Henry Cejudo is willing to corner Peter Yan. The current UFC interim bantamweight champion of the world, Peter Yan, is in desperate need of help after his cornermen were denied entry into the United States as a result of the ongoing Russian invasion on Ukraine. With such unfortunate circumstances, we're happy to report he's had an all-star roster of fighters come to his rescue and offer to be there for him. Ahead of his rematch with Aljamain Sterling in May, he wanted to make sure he has the best corner possible and he just might get that. Yan's hopeful that he can get in touch with the great Khabib Nurmagomedov and convince him to be in his corner for the fight. Even if that doesn't happen, he's heard back from what could be an incredible support system of fighters. Sean O'Malley was the first to respond in support, posting a video letting Yan know that he already intended on being there for a fight and is ready to be in his corner whenever he needs him. Yan also took his own Twitter to request the help of former UFC champion Henry Cejudo and heard back from him the next day. Cejudo is ready and willing to help Yan out so long as he's provided with a booster seat for the corner. Despite Yan reaching out to Cejudo for help in his fight, the two have had a long history of going back and forth on social media. Yan has publicly questioned the timing of Henry's retirement and in return, Cejudo has blasted him saying he would come back just to fight Yan. Nonetheless, it's respectable that they would both put their pride aside to work on the bigger goals and legacies ahead. Who would you want to be in your corner if you could build it from scratch? Leon Edwards plans on dethroning Kamaru Usman. Leon Edwards wants to take the belts away from UFC champion Kamaru Usman and then immediately face him for a third time right away after. In his words, there's no way Kamaru beats him in their next match. It looks like Leon is finally going to get his highly anticipated title shot against Kamaru Usman on July 2nd at UFC 256. Usman has already successfully defended his title against the likes of both Colby Covington and Jorge Masvidal. But it's important to consider that Leon Edwards' last loss in the cage was more than 10 fights ago, and it was to none other than Kamaru Usman himself. Leon has used this as fuel and is sure to be coming back for blood in this rematch and has all the factors to make it a great trilogy. If Edwards is successful, he expects to face off with Usman one third and final time. Winner take all. He was only 22 years old the first time they fought, and now at 30, he feels like his time has come. Leon wants fans to know that this fight will be completely different from the first, promising an exciting championship level fight. Who will you put your money on come fight day? The fuck off. He's not one in a while. Let him enjoy it. <laughs> 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 Hello, hot. Don't forget to take a second to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of the latest fight news. Colby Covington calls out Israel Adesanya for middleweight title shot. With Colby Covington on the outside looking in for a welterweight title shot, he's now looking up at a heavier weight class and possibly score a shot at the middleweight title in a fight against Israel Adesanya. Colby challenged Kamaru Usman for the 170 pound strap two times and came up short both times. The first via knockout and then via unanimous decision this past November. 
the UFC doesn't seem interested in putting together a trilogy fight between these two fighters, so Colby is now kind of in limbo in the welterweight division. He said he wants big money fights, and he just came out of one against Jorge Masvidal in the rare five-round non-title main event for a pay-per-view at UFC 272. With Colby unlikely to challenge for the welterweight title again, as long as Usman is champion, it seems he's got his sights set on Adesanya and has now formally called out the last style bender in a recent interview on Submission Radio. This is what he said. You know, why can't I fight Adesanya? That guy has, he can't stop my wrestling. I'll pick him up and drop him on his fucking head. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a cardio kickboxer. They got enough cardio kickboxers in women's classes around the US, you know? Like, I could go join one of those as well, but... But, you know, I decided to pick up hard, grueling American wrestling. So I don't think Adesanya can stop my American wrestling, and I don't think he's that good a fighter. In typical Colby fashion, he brought the chaotic trash talk and didn't hold back in his criticism of Adesanya. However, Stylebender is gearing up to defend his title against Jared Cannonier sometime later this year. Colby later went on to say that the only other fight he's looking at is a clash against Dustin Poirier, someone who he's known for years and trained with at American Top Team. Still, what do you think about Colby's comments about Adesanya? Do you want to see this fight? And who you got in this fight, if it ever does happen? If, God forbid, someone came down to you and said, you have to leave the UFC tomorrow. You can't work for the UFC anymore, but you get to pick your successor. Who would you pick to take your place on one day's notice? Well, it's funny because I see people say that all the time. And, uh, you know, they think that this guy or that guy, it's people who really don't know anything about this business. Yeah. There, there's so much more. What we do, there's a formula to what we do and why we've been successful. There is a guy, there's one guy that, that you know, there's certain things that I do that he wouldn't be able to do, but the important things that get done over there is, is what really matters. And, and this guy, this guy could absolutely positively do it. Are it you not be, revealing who the guy is? It, well, you, nobody would even know who the fuck he is. Oh, a yeah. behind the scenes guy. Yeah, he's a behind the scenes guy. Interesting. Yeah, because the names that people throw out are like, people say like Daniel Cormier could right. take over. And it's like, I don't even right. know if he wants to take over. I think he's having fun doing yeah. commentary. Yeah. Daniel Cormier couldn't do it. <laughs> Damn, I, I'm sorry, DC. I love Daniel, but Daniel couldn't do it. Colby Covington chimes in on people trying to cancel Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan recently returned to commentating UFC events after weeks of controversy surrounding an attempt to cancel him by the media. On stage at the UFC 272 weigh-ins, Colby Covington screamed out, cancel culture, as soon as he got the chance to speak on the mic. This wasn't all Colby had to say though. Recently during an interview with James Lynch, Colby took the time to comment on the topic. He made it very clear he strongly dislikes the sheep that take part in trying to cancel someone and believes most of the negative information regarding Rogan has been taken way out of context and used as an attack on him. Were you one of the trolls trying to cancel Joe or are you excited to have him back like the rest of us? Thanks so much for joining us today and catching up on all things MMA. What do you make of what's going on in the fight world? Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date on all the latest fight news from the MMA Zone. See you next time.